Hi everyone, it's Mike here. In the next seven days, I'm going to be bringing you one Halloween themed video every day in the run up to Halloween. So to kickstart with day one, I've teamed up with five other YouTube artists to bring you a Halloween themed ATC video hop. So what I will do to start off with is I'll show you the ATCs that we've sent each other, we've created and sent each other, and then I will show you the process of how I created my ATCs and then I'll join with you again at the end. So these are the ATCs in the swap. So this is my creation. This is one of six that I created and I've sent out the other five to the other five participants. This one is from Linda. This one is from Hanny. This one is from Diana. Familiar face staring at you from there, look. If you look at the little spider. This one is from Kylie. And this one is from Marianne. So a cool ATC swap with a Halloween theme. So I'm now going to show you how I created mine, including the other five in the set that I posted out to the other hop participants. So I've began by cutting out six rectangles of watercolour paper or watercolour card at two and a half by three and a half inches. I'm going to completely cover all six with Mod Podge and I'm going to cover every single one with torn book text from a, uh, an old gazetteer, which is kind of like an encyclopedia. And I'm going to do the same process on all six of the ATCs, but I'm not going to show you all six. I'm just going to show you the basics on one and then I'll show you all six of them completed at each stage. So the first one is completely covered. I'm going to dry it off using my heat gun and then I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to remove the excess book text from my ATC. And I'm going to do the same thing on all six of my ATCs which I will show you in a little while. So as you can see, all six I've done exactly the same thing with. So again, I'm going to take one and I'm going to start off with Spice Marmalade Distress Paint and I'm going to cover half of the, um, of the ATC. I'm going to use the Twisted Citroen Distress Paint and cover the other half. Now I will vary this um, on the other five. I will do top, bottom, side, I'll just do different kind of coverage using the same colours. As you can see, I've got all six now, all done. I've done some diagonals, some horizontal ones. And now the next step, I'm going to take out my Harlequin stencil from TCW and using the Jet Black Archival Ink and a foam blending tool, I'm going to randomly put some of the black ink through the stencil on each of all six of my ATCs. As you can see, I've done exactly the same thing with all six. So next stage, I have purchased a digi download from Lisa's Altered Art on Etsy. And these are some very, very cute Halloween images that I wanted to use in my ATCs. So I've printed them off and then I've cut out one character uh, for each of my ATCs. And each character that I've picked is slightly different. And because of the time constraints on the video, I don't want it to be too long, which is why I've not shown you me actually cutting them out with my craft knife. So I'm going to just choose one to show you. And I'm going to grab a brush and my Mod Podge, and I'm going to stick my little witches, or my little witch, down onto my ATC. And as before, I'm not going to make you sit through me going through the same process on all six cards. So I'll show you the one and then I'll show you all six complete. So 
So these are the six ATCs so far. Now I wanted to add a black border all the way around each ATC just to hide those white edges. So I decide to take my jet black archival ink and a piece of cut and dry foam which I've loaded up with the ink and I'm going to go around all of the borders on all of the ATCs. Now I also wondered just how it would look if I just used the ink pad without the foam and it didn't work as well as I wanted it to. The ink wasn't coming in as far to create that border so I switched back to the foam. And as you can see, bits of the foam started to fall out and drop all over my work surface. So before I can carry on to the next stage, I obviously have to have a little bit of a clean up and a tidy up just to make sure that I don't get any of that ink all over. So there we have the six ATCs ready for the next stage which is to add some text. And for that, I'm using the Big Chat stickers where I'm going to select the most appropriate words from that collection to add to my ATCs. So my set of the Big Chat stickers are very well used and a lot of the words are actually missing now. So I have to make up the deficit by using some of the smaller label letters from Tim Holt to make up my own words.
So all of my words are now added to my ATCs. Now you can go over these if you want to add a little bit more of a sealer to them, but because they're self-adhesive, I haven't bothered. But what I need to do now is when I cut out my little fairies, my little witches, um, I had to cut off the stalks for some of the ones and for some of their staffs that they're holding. So I'm just adding these back in again with my food ball pen. And of course no witch or no little fairy or Halloween fairy would be complete without having some kind of bit of bling or a bit of sparkle on the end of their wand. So each of my little witches I've now got some sparkle on their ones so I need to just go around each of the word blocks just to try and make them pop a little bit from the background. I know they're on the black so just adding another little bit of a sketchy black border all the way around just adds to the design. So I'm happy with the way the cards are looking now, but I decided I want to add a few little magical sparkles to the cards. So for this, I'm using my diamond stickles from Ranger Ink, and I'm just going to add a few little drops of glitter here and there on each of the ATCs. So now that my ATCs have a little bit of sparkle on them, I'm just going to put them to one side, to let them dry so that I can then add my little ATC stamp on the back of each one. So the ATC information sheet which is going on the back says the title of the series, how many in the series and what number in the series that each of the cards are. So I will be writing on the back of each one the name of the series. So for this one it's called Six Little Witches and it'll have the date, who created it, and a little bit of information, my contact details, and the number in the series for each card. So there'll be one of six, two of six, three of six, and so on. And if you're interested in the actual um, card to stick on the back of your ATCs, this is available as a digi download on my website, and there are six on the sheet. So for each sheet that you print, then you will get six of the little ATC backs that you can use. So that's the first one of my ATCs complete. I'm just going to grab the rest of my little backs for the ATCs and I'm going to repeat the same process. As you can see, each one now has that little artist trading card information sheet on the back and these are my six little witches ATCs for the hop all complete. So out five of those ATCs I posted out to the other five hop participants, so one went to Linda, one went to Hanny, one went to Kylie, one went to Diana and one went to Marianne. So all six of us now have one out of the complete collection. So we've got one each of everybody else's ATCs. They're all slightly different, but they're all following the same theme. So huge thanks to Linda, Hanny, Diana, Kylie and Marianne for joining with me in this ATC video hop. And don't forget to watch their ATCs 
uh, the videos for their ATCs, all you have to do is to click on the links in my description area below. That's all from me for now. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share with all your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already to get the rest of the seven days of Halloween series. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye for now. Ooh, ooh, ooh.